Hey everyone, I'm Seren the Healer, and for the April general readings, I made things a lot more specific by breaking each sign down by design type. Check the description for a link to learn your design type, as well as how to get more info on human design. I'm really excited about how these turned out. Please watch to the end for a special message. So this looks like a situation where you are making slow progress towards your goal. Things are going generally well, yet somehow, mentally, you're still beating yourself up about it. Probably because you're comparing yourself to other people who seem like they're going faster than you. But, um... We're all on different journeys. And so it's going to um, look different for you than it does for someone else. And logically, we know that, right? But emotionally, it doesn't always translate. So let's look at the individual design types to see how the energy is going to look for the month of April. <laughs> First out, we have generators with control, all right? So I feel like that's pretty straightforward. You're wanting it to happen in your time and the way that you want it to happen. And the fact that it's going a lot slower than that is really, really bugging you. But it's one of those things where it's like, do you want to be in control or do you want to be happy, right? Because you can't really have both in this situation. You got to let something go. You got to surrender to spirit's time and let things progress as they will, right? So, yeah, I know that's easier said than done. Um, control is actually a, um, it was a big lesson for me uh, a few years back, even just realizing the fact that I wanted to be in control of everything. <laughs> I wanted to control how people felt about stuff. I wanted to control how people felt about me, what people thought about me. I wanted to control the way things played out in my life. I, I, I just, I, I wanted, I needed to feel like I was in control of things in order to feel like I was safe, like I was important, like I was special, like I was, all of that stuff, right? And there comes a point where you, you realize that you don't need to be in control. You know, especially if you believe in spirit, if you have faith, like you honestly, it's not your job <laughs> and it's good that it's not your job because uh, you really wouldn't want anybody else in, in control, but spirit. All right. So next up, we have our manifesting generators with the fantasy energy. All right. So the 41. Oh, <sighs> um, I feel like this means that um you're 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 judging by what the way that you imagine things would go. 
you know? So it's like, oh my gosh, if my check had been here by now, I could have done this, I could have done that, but now, you know, it's not here, so that I'm not going to, you know, be able to get that in time. So, you know, um, it, it kind of goes back to control if you're not allowing yourself to enjoy the fun of fantasizing. The whole point of fantasizing is fun. Thinking about what could be, what the way things could go, free of the reality of the way that things have gone and the way that things are you know there is a value in thinking for fun okay and if you allow yourself to do that freely you can actually begin to shift energy um it's just it's not gonna happen from a place of oh you know it, it has to be lighthearted, and it has to be free of expectations you know just enjoying the thought of the what if just you know to to give yourself that that mental break that space from from this type of energy all right next out we have our projectors oh with the details card all right so this um this is another thing energy that i'm very familiar with and it has to do with Okay, things are going well, right? Things are going generally well, but they're not going the way that I would have preferred for them to go, you know, because if we had lined the cabinets before we put the dishes in there, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's the, the, the small stuff and allowing the small stuff to steal your joy as opposed to looking and being like, oh my gosh, like we moved. We got all of our belongings into this house in such a short period of time. We're in our dream house. We're in our new space. We're in, you know, instead of looking at that, you're, you're upset that the cupboards weren't lined before the dishes went in or that you didn't get a chance to, to spray. You know what I mean? Like uh, you can go back and redo that later. You can do that piece by piece. You can, if it's really that important to you, you know what I'm saying? But instead of allowing it to steal your joy, give yourself time to revel in what's going right. All right. And there's more to come. There's more gestating. There's more happening that is working in your favor. All right. So there might actually be someone that, you know, that has the time and loves lining count, um, cupboards, you know, <laughs> that will come and be like, oh, you know what? I noticed. <laughs> And I happen to have some some leftover um, shelf liners. Would you like it if I did, you know, this whole half of your kitchen or whatever, you know? But instead of getting, you know, all tangled in a net of small details that are stealing your joy, it's better to zoom out when you can and allow yourself to... Um, enjoy the the bigger picture and the way things are going you know in a general positive upsweep all right there is a design set up um when you have a certain gate activated but you have an undefined headspace um that will give you this automatic design of worrying about and thinking about things that don't matter, things that aren't even important, you know? So if you get your chart done and you find that you have that gate, you have that setup, you have that makeup, then that gives you an indication of something that you need to be on the lookout about. A question that you need to ask yourself more often is, do I even care about this? Why am I trying to figure this out right now? What what's something more fun that I could be doing with this time than than stressing about the details of, you know, does everyone have six carrots in their lunch? Because if, if one of them only has five, then they're going to get into an argument at the lunch table. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there there are, are way more fun things that I could think about, you know, take a take a page from the Manifesting Generator book. Right. All right, so next out we have our manifestors with luck. <laughs> I like that. 
I feel like that means that even though things are chugging along really slowly, there is a chance that luck will change and um, things will, will, you know, come into place for you in the way that you're used to them, you know, working out for you, manifestors. Next out, we have the reflectors with the 27, caring. Hmm. I almost feel like that's very, well, yeah. It's a very similar reading to what we got for the, the projectors, reflectors, and it has to do with, you know what? Maybe you are reflecting a projector. Maybe you guys are sitting in the break room together, stressing out about how many carrots got in the lunches of the kids, you know, and it's time to, to ask yourself, how, how much do I really care about that? How much are the kids going to really care about that? Are they going to count the carrots? Are they going to be bummed out that they got carrots and not want to eat them in general? Like, you know, <laughs> maybe they'll be more upset that they don't have ranch to dip them in. <laughs> you have to, you, you have to have discretion and, and not just allow yourself to indulge in worry about whatever topic falls into your head. I'm not saying, oh, don't care about anything. Just, you know, be blase about life. But I am saying that if it's something that's stealing your joy in a situation where generally things are going pretty all right, like you got to be able to zoom out and look at things through a wider lens and notice that things are generally going in an upsweep. They're generally going well. It might not be going in the order that you want. It might not be going as quickly as you want, but it's going well. Then stop letting the small things steal your joy. All right? Because that's what's going to stop you from having fun along the way towards the thing that you ultimately want. <laughs> All right, so this is the part where I usually go and I look at the message behind the message. I'm actually still going to do that, but that video is going to go up over on the network, the Woke Culture Collective Network. Um, to find that, check out the description below this video and um, find out how to follow me over there. All right, I'm in the Energy Medicine Tribe. See you there. This moment.